Teresa Elliott is happy to describe herself as a dedicated foodie, but travel is her other passion. Fortunately, her interests complement each other and she's used her travels to broaden her culinary horizons, as we're about to enjoy with this week's Asian-inspired menu. Teresa is always creating taste sensations in the kitchen, which is why I'm so looking forward to seeing what she's cooking up today. Hello. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. <laughs> what inspired the menu for today? We're doing an Asian-inspired menu, and we've got a lot of Asian flavors. There's sweet and sour, tamari, garlic, ginger, orange, and we're combining it into a delicious menu. Let's get into it. For our starter, we're going to be having Thai veggie pies. I've got mini plum tomatoes, which I've halved. Spread those out on your tray. And I'm going to add some fresh pineapple and drizzle with some olive oil. And season with some salt and pepper. And then we'll be roasting that in the oven. While that's in the oven, we can prep the rest of our veggies. I've got some olive oil here. I'm going to add some fresh orange zest. And this is a combination of garlic, ginger, and dania in a paste. Mix that together. Those aromas are wonderful. <laughs> and then we're going to add our fresh vegetables. We've got mushrooms, carrots, red onion, and red pepper. And toss that together and make sure that all of your vegetables are coated in the mixture. The tomatoes and pineapples are ready, so I'm going to get them out of the oven. Those look absolutely juicy. They really do. So now what we can do is just set these to one side. And then we're going to roast these vegetables. So you can use the same tray and spread it out evenly. This shouldn't take too long to roast. I'll pop it in the oven. So while that's roasting, we can get our pastry cups ready. We're using phyllo pastry for today's recipe. I've defrosted this phyllo pastry overnight in the fridge. And what I like to do is actually cover it with a piece of plastic before I put the damp tea towel on it. And it just stops the cloth from sticking to it. It is such a great tip. So let's get some melted butter for our phyllo. We need to work quite quickly with the phyllo pastry as it does dry out quickly. So take one sheet and lay it down on your work surface and brush the top with some melted butter. The great thing about phyllo is if it does tear, you can just glue it back together. One more piece to go. Place that directly on top of the first one and you're going to brush with butter again. I'm cutting the pastry in half lengthways. And then what I'm going to do is cut each strip into three sections. Let's pop each piece into the muffin tray. Pop it in like that. Then repeat the same process to fill in the rest of the cups. So these are ready to be filled. I'll get the vegetables out of the oven. That smells amazing. So now we need to mix all the vegetables together. And then we're going to pop them inside the muffin cups. You can see all those Asian flavors coming through with the sweetness in the pineapple and the acidity in the tomatoes and the peppers. Absolutely. Those look great. We're going to close them up now. They don't have to be neat at all. Just tuck the pastry in and fold it on top. Awesome. The more rustic, the better. Brush the parcels with a little bit more butter before you bake them. All done. Let's bake these. Teresa, what's on the menu for main? We've got a great family-style meal. It's a tamari chicken tray bake. We'll be starting with our marinade, and the first ingredient is, of course, tamari. I'm also going to add some sesame oil, some honey, some rice wine vinegar. We have to have garlic, of course, and some ginger. Mix that together until it's well combined. And then we're going to add our chicken. A great tip is that you can also double up on the recipe. So if you're cooking for a crowd or a large family, just double everything. You want to toss the chicken in the marinade. You can also do this step ahead of time. So if you wanted to do it in the morning or a few hours ahead, you could do that and then leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours. So just arrange the chicken on your tray. And don't forget to pour all that beautiful marinade on top. Once that's done, you can cover the tray with some foil. Chicken's ready, now we can prepare our vegetables. Start off with your sweet potato. I don't peel my potatoes, I just scrub them and I put them on as is. I'm going to add some cauliflower. 
We've got some courgettes and some tomatoes. So spread that out on your tray. Don't forget to drizzle it with olive oil and season with some salt. I always think the more colorful your food is, the more nutritious it is. And this is a very balanced and delicious meal to make for the family. Zach, would you mind opening the oven for me? <laughs> of course not. I have quite a serious question for you. We need to talk about the pudding. <laughs> We're going to be making some dark chocolate truffles. And of course, we have our Asian flavors. We've got ginger biscuits, orange, pistachios, and coconut. So the first step is we need to melt our butter and heat up our cream. And get the heat on. And we're also going to add some butter. Give that a mix, and you want that to melt together. As you can see, our mixture is starting to boil, which means we can take it off the heat. Pour it straight onto your chocolate and let it sit for about 30 seconds to start melting the chocolate. Let's give this a whisk. So the residual heat from the cream will actually help to melt the chocolate. That looks beautiful and smooth. Luxurious. Absolutely. We're going to add our ginger biscuits. These have been crushed and our orange rind. It's such a delicious combination. Give that a good mix. Make sure everything's well combined. We can pour it into our bowl. The quickest way to chill your ganache is in the fridge. It only takes about an hour, but you can also leave it to sit at room temperature and it'll go hard. Okay, let's pop that in the fridge. And luckily, I've got one that I made earlier. It's all ready to roll. Yay! So you can grab a spoon, scoop some of the ganache out of the bowl, and then use your hands to roll it into a bowl. I'm watching you and those deft fingers of yours. Easy. You pop it into your crushed pistachios, roll it around, and there you go. <gasps> all done. Why not try? It's going to take some time. Doesn't look like yours. <laughs> Too bad for a first attempt. That'll do. When it's covered in coconut, it's hiding <laughs> my poor job. That looks beautiful. Aha! That one is so much better. That looks great. Woo! <laughs> Et voila! Let's get all of this cleared up and we can plate up. <laughs> wow, Teresa. Shall we plate this up? Pop your chicken pieces onto your serving platter. And then we're going to put all the vegetables around the chicken. This really just screams delicious goodness. Finish it off with a sprinkle of parsley and you're all done. Teresa, thank you so much. I have thoroughly enjoyed your take on Asian flavors. I'm so glad you've enjoyed the day. Let's tuck in. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> this is phenomenal. Great, enjoy. And the phyllo pastry is so light and crispy. It's just perfect in that dish.